So what's up guys, this is Primetime2 and um, today I'm doing a video and uh, this video is about a deal that, um, that I actually did about a couple days ago and this was for the um, Skylanders Giants Portal Pack Owners, I think it's a Portal Pack owner Owners Pack um, and I bought it for $4.99 at Walmart so I wanted to let you guys know about it. Um, I'm currently outside so I would show you guys the box and everything. But you can probably go on Walmart.com and see it, and it's $4.99 now. I had to drive 30 minutes, or my girlfriend had to drive me 30 minutes just to get it. Um, it was a great deal. I ended up getting four of them, and from what I understand, I got the last four in the store. Um, you guys know I always try to get the hot deals. I hate overpaying for stuff. Um, and since I'm on this topic, I wanted to get on something that kind of bothers me. Um, I kind of see people posting, um, not just on... YouTube but on Craigslist in general um, and yeah I find deals occasionally I'm a person that likes to pay cheap for games if I want to pay retail or close to retail or close to retail used prices I would go on Amazon.com or eBay or some shit like that I don't go to Craigslist to get ripped off by people for example um, about two weeks ago, this guy was selling uh, Resident Evil 6 for, <laughs> and you guys are going to laugh about this, but he was selling it for like $29.99 or 30 bucks or something, and I messaged him and said, yo, you do know that this game was selling for $15 on Groupon. Um, he kind of got an attitude with me, started me calling me all kinds of names via email and shit, talking about he works at GameStop. I told him, yeah, tell me which GameStop you work at. I'll come see you. Um, he didn't post no video. <laughs> he didn't respond to that. Because if you're going to talk shit to me on the internet, and you talk about you live in my town, in my area, and you work at GameStop, tell me which GameStop you work at so you can say this shit to my face. Um, I'm not normally a type of person to be confrontational with people. I don't go to jail and stuff like that. Um, I'm pretty good with my behavior. I don't go off in people on public and shit like that. But um, if you're going to disrespect me, make sure you do it to the right person because I'm not the one to be messed with. Um, and I don't think anybody should let nobody take advantage of them. Either on YouTube, in person, at the grocery store, nowhere. Um, I have these random trolls that come on my videos and say dumb shit. That kind of shit pisses me off. There's nothing I can do. Um, so I just wanted to say, yeah, that people that raise prices and try to overcharge for games, um, this is just wrong. Um, usually what I do when I try to sell something, even though, for example, I just got these Skylanders Giants $5.00 for five dollars I'm selling them for 20 okay so you guys say I'm ripping somebody off um, I say no because I had to drive number one 30 minutes so that's 30 minutes of my time there and back that's an hour then I had to go into the store to get it and I had to pay my own money so the cheapest I'll probably go is 15 because you can't find these for even 20 new nowhere they're selling for I think 30 with shipping is the cheapest I've seen on Amazon. Nowhere else is it selling cheaper than that. Um, so $20 is a great deal of what I'm offering considering they're sold out everywhere. Um, I've had one person buy one so far, so I have three of them left. Um, so occasionally I do that, but when I sell used games, I usually go lower than Amazon. Everybody is always trying to go off the GameStop website. Oh, GameStop sells the game for this, so I'm going to sell it for the GameStop price. Fuck GameStop. GameStop overprices for their games. I told you guys about XCOM Enemy Unknown. I bought it for 13 bucks with the DLC included. And um, and GameStop was selling it for $39.99. So everybody's going off GameStop's website. That guy who was selling Resident Evil for 30 was going off the GameStop website. Resident Evil was $17.98 on Amazon.com. Brand new. Um, so people selling Resident Evil used should be selling it for $15 with free shipping. It shouldn't be more than that. Um, so, and on YouTube, um, there's been a couple of videos I've seen of people posting things for sale. But if you're gonna post something for sale, understand trade. You want, you want to trade. Um, I did a trade with Safutaku, and I'm waiting for him to send me this stuff. Pretty cool guy, Safutaku. What's up? One and um, yeah. Uh, for example, what was I saying? Got a brain fart, guys. Sorry. Um, so yeah, basically, I'm excited for E3. We got three days left. Um, I just wanted to make a video and let you guys know that 
making stuff videos about selling games on YouTube and then expecting to get a certain price higher than what they're worth is not right um, for example if you have a game that you know sells for five bucks and it's kind of fucked up don't try to sell that game for five bucks you gotta lower the price considering the damage the disc has or the damage on the game disc or the damage on the case um, I think GameStop should do the same shit and stop overcharging them sometimes they do sell stuff for cheap but I'm boycotting GameStop not, not me I'm not buying from them um, the place I go to uh, called Just Press Play they sell a lot of retro games um, I think I see pr cheaper prices at that place than eBay and Amazon and I'm not lying about that guys um, so stay tuned to more videos um, I'll probably be checking out I'll, I'm looking forward to uh, the Sony conference only because of the PlayStation Vita games and PlayStation 3 and um, I'm looking forward to Ubisoft uh, and the Nintendo Direct I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm not gonna be watching Microsoft's conference I'll probably check out the uh, uh, IGN videos they put up later that day and laugh my ass off at all the bullshit that they I guarantee you they're gonna show some sport some sort of halo uh, that new duck Bungie game that's multiplayer that's coming out on PlayStation 3 and Xbox uh, 360. I don't know what else they could show. They don't really have anything else. Uh, what are they going to release? Another Viva Piñata for the Xbox One? Um, the Xbox 360 was pretty good. The Gears of War series was the main thing on that system that I loved about it. And I might eventually buy all three games again. Hopefully they come out um, with a collector's edition for the Xbox 360 before they phase out and stop making games with Xbox 360 all together. I don't see that happening, so I'll probably buy all three. Now, the place I'm not a PlayStation fanboy. I'm not a fanboy at all. People call me a fanboy. I own PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PlayStation Vita, the Nintendo 3DS, a GameCube. I might as well say I own a Wii, because my Wii U plays Wii games. And, um, I just want... I just want to say that um, that I'm looking forward to E3. I hope you guys are too. You guys check it out. Um, I'm not a fanboy. Nintendo's going to have a lot of great games. People keep not giving um, the Wii U a chance. Hopefully they lower the price so people, more people could buy it. I bought mine at launch and even my girlfriend complained about how much I paid for it. I think I paid um, $250, uh, probably a little bit higher, not but not over $300. Um, it was, it's a great system, it has great potential, and with a lot of the games that are supposedly being announced, it's going to be um, a great, great system. Um, you know, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, The Legend of Zelda, which probably won't be released this year, so I hope people are not expecting that. Smash Brothers uh, 3DS, Smash Brothers, it's actually called Smash Brothers Universe. Um, it's coming out for the Wii U and the 3DS, I'll probably get the 3DS version first. Um, I'll get the Wii U eventually. I want to get Lego City undercover for the Wii U, but um, I just haven't been on top of that. Um, it's a beautiful day outside today. Um, I'm letting my son play. That's the door you guys just hope, heard opened. Um, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, stay tuned. And um, I know I posted about the Wii U uh, pamphlets that I have, and I have had one, one person um, say they wanted one. And if you really want one, uh, I think you're. Garchomp, um, send me a PM. I, I don't respond unless I respond to comments, but I'm not going to talk about your address and all that information in the comment section. You need to send send me a private message. Private message. Um, private message. My son is distracting me right now, I'm trying to bring toys out of the house, which I do not like because these kids in this neighborhood like to steal. Anyway, um. I guess that's all for now. Uh, I'll probably be doing another video tomorrow. I'm trying to come out with more videos and more things to talk about. But I really wanted to let you guys know about that Walmart deal. So if you have a Walmart in your area, this deal is only online only. Um, I don't know if you can price match at Target, but I tried to price match at Best Buy. But they don't have the, the Skylanders Portal Owner Pack available at Best Buy. And I didn't see it on the Target website, so it might be impossible to price match those things. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. And um, yeah, see you guys later.